Good morning, ladies, and welcome back to the channel. So the plan for today, we are going to be having a little bit of a move round of the ewes and get them onto some fresh grazing. But before that, as you can notice, I'm in a field and there is no sheep in here. So before you question, the audio slightly failed at this point, but we need to get the fat lambs back in as they had escaped. So. That is the first job for today. We're going to get some escapee sheep back in. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and most of all, I hope you enjoy. Farmer's best friend, you don't know when you need it. Sorted, they should not get out of there again. Touch wood, early morning drama sorted. Also, fat lambs in here, six of these are going on the 27th of December. So we're just keeping them going and then they'll be ready for boxes in the new year. Right, so back to what we actually should be doing today. And that is moving all the ewes onto a nice fresh field of grazing. So they have now been on where they are for about five, six days now. And it's time for a move. When you've got 217 ewes on 10 acres, they soon graze it down. But before we move them, we're just gonna drop the fence in this corner so that when we're trying to get them into the field, they actually come into it because they're that well trained now. If they see free wire, it doesn't go too well. They won't go through. So the sheep, I don't know how well you can see it, but they're in that field down there. They're gonna run up the seeds and straight into fresh field of grazing. That is the plan. Let's see how we get on. Good morning, ladies. Time for some fresh grass, I think, girls. It ain't too much left in here. On camera, it does look a lot muddier than it is. I think it's the light, but the graze is down nicer. I left them in here for another day. I think we'd cause more damage than good for the sward next year, especially see these muddy lines go up the field just from the ice. So going up and down here when it was that frozen, they've just trod the grass in. They really need to get off here now. Hello, Mrs. Triplett. Hello, single ladies. Ready for some fresh grass, girls? Just look how well the graze is filled. That's not been touched. Obviously that has. Six days, I tell you what, this mob, I don't know, is it mob grazing? I, I guess it's classed as mob grazing. They will graze the whole field so much better than if you give them loads of acres and give them a few weeks. If you give them a small amount, get them to graze it hard. They don't leave any of the not so nice grasses and graze it off nice, but it should mean next year, the sward will improve as all of that dead stuff has actually been grazed out. Off you go. The benefits of this electric fencing are just endless. The difference it has just made within a month of having the sheep on the farm. Like, so many benefits. We're able to graze 120 acres on the farm that we couldn't have done previously. The sheep touch wood, they haven't got out. As long as it's set up properly, like we have, well, I'm not saying we're perfect, but it's set up well enough that the sheep just respect the fence. I do think it really helps having that steel wire along the barn because it means you can run a decent current around the whole thing and you just trust it a bit more. The solar energizer, it, one fact I did find out, 21 days without sunlight and that'll still work. So even when we don't have a sunny day, although today is very sunny, it'll still work and just the quality of the grazing. We're able to graze smaller fields a bit harder, which benefits the ewes and benefits us. And it just means we can get more sheep grazing land that we couldn't in the first place. I think in the summer, we are gonna segregate a few fields. Obviously the grass growth will be far more than now and it'll allow us to make the most out of the grass we have. So we're not taking too much grass out of the hay and haylage enterprise. And by doing that, we're becoming far more efficient in our grazing going forward, which could also mean we could up the numbers a little bit more. But we'll talk about numbers and that going forward at a later date because we're currently, as we are, we're getting on all right. Oh, my neck. I reckon that's a trailer. That's definitely a trailer. Definitely. We're gonna get Josie. We will not push these too hard. Obviously, they're heavily pregnant. We do not want any disasters. 
but they'll probably need a helping hand to get out of that gateway because they're so used to the fence being there. Go on then, Joyce. No, B. Come on. Off the road. Come on. Under there. That way. Under there. That's big. Right, let's see how lucky we are today. Let Joyce down. Down. Good girl. She's got them moving. She's got them moving. We're getting there, slowly but surely. Push them slowly. We don't want them moving too quick. Oh dear, they're not playing ball. They're still in the gateway. Oh, slowly push. Absolutely buzzing. We got them through. A little push from Josie. That's all I needed. She's done good. Josie's turned them all. She's turned them all. Oh, I'm getting a bit more trustworthy these days. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm really chuffed with that. You got me out of a little bit of trouble there, Joe. So, as you probably all saw, the ewes all ran past the gateway here. Josie got round them, stopped them, pulled them back in, as a working dog should do, really, without trying to push them too hard. She's now having a celebration wing. But yeah, <laughs> we'll get this fence stuck back up because I've just pulled it slightly. Um, and then we're gonna go and check out what Ellie's up to. I'll give you a hint, it's fairly Christmassy. Right guys, so just to pre-warn you, if any of you do not like blood or guts or anything like that, skip this bit of the video as we are now gonna go and see Ellie with her little turkey enterprise. We'll explain a little bit more as we get in there, but yeah, it's gonna be quite cool. So Ellie, do you wanna tell us exactly what you have been up to over this little build up to Christmas period? Um, I have been plucking and dressing turkeys ready for So basically, here on the farm, we do a few turkeys. Well, Ellie does a few turkeys every year for the family. She humanely puts the turkey down. They don't feel a thing. And then she gets straight on to plucking the birds. So do you want to talk us a bit through how you pluck them out, if we get the right angle, if I get around so, there? You have to do the wings and the tail feathers, the big feathers, they're probably on the floor somewhere. Uh, as soon as you kill them while they're warm, else you can't get them out. And then you do the wings, tail, legs, back, and then breast last, which is kind of a process. And then once these are all hung for a little bit, you then dress them. So you have to hang them for a day uh, for them to kind of like settle and cool. And then you basically take out all their insides. So you've yeah. just got the meat left or the muscle. Um, and then that's what you see on your plate. Cool. So yeah, Ellie's done this. You did it a few years ago to raise some money for Duke of Edinburgh, did it? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, kind of Duke of Edinburgh. And then you've carried on doing it for the family since then. Um, and I'm not going to lie, they're very nice turkeys, and we know that they've been reared every day. For, do, you, do you get them as chicks? Yeah. Uh, well, a couple of weeks old. Couple of week old, then we rear them on the farm up to the age of when they are killed and eaten. At least we're doing a cracking job, as you can see with these three here. Um, that's what's been plucked earlier. And then we have another one here, another one there. But guys, realistically, I just want to show you guys this because it is literally field to fork. They're reared here on the farm. They are killed here on the farm. And then they are plucked, dressed and eaten here on the farm. So this is the definition of field to fork. And we do exactly the same with these as we do with the lambs too, which is quite cool. And it's why I am a big, big believer of support your British farmers. So if any of those British farmers out there have their own turkeys for sale, I know it might be a little late, you're watching this video, support them and don't just go to your local supermarket 
unless, well, do go to the supermarket, but make sure it's got British on the pack. That's right, isn't it, Al? So we will leave you to it now, Al. That is us pretty much done for the day. We have got the sheep moved. Ellie is plucking the turkeys, and you've got a long day ahead of you because that's going to take a fair while to pluck. <laughs> And what else have we done? We got those sheep and they got out. So guys, massive thank you for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. It's cool, it's Christmas. So I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. There will be another video to come after this. Enjoy yourselves. Don't enjoy yourselves too much. Don't forget, like and subscribe. And most of all, I'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.